Hi everyone, my name is Christopher Smith and welcome to my course, Dimensional Modeling on the Microsoft SQL Server Platform. Dimensional modeling was first introduced by Ralph Kimball in 1996 when he published a book called The Data Warehouse Toolkit. Since then, the concept has widely been accepted as the leading architecture for designing a data warehouse. In this course, we're going to learn how to use Microsoft SQL Server and SQL Server integration services to design and efficiently populate dimension, fact, and bridge tables. Some of the major topics that we will cover include common components that are found in dimension and fact tables and why they're important, several techniques to handle slowly changing dimensions, five methods to incrementally process data in your ETL, including two built-in Microsoft technologies, change data capture and change tracking, how to troubleshoot and resolve bottlenecks in your ETL, and several techniques to model many-to-many -many relationships. By the end of this course, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use the Microsoft SQL Server platform to design and efficiently load data to your data warehouse. Before beginning this course, you should have an entry-level understanding of dimensional modeling and SQL Server integration services. I hope you'll join me on this journey to learn dimensional modeling with the Dimensional Modeling on the Microsoft SQL Server Platform course at Pluralsight. <laughs>